Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as always, I've got another mail opening video. Uh, we've got two big ass parcels today. Um, we've got that one, and we've got this one. And what's interesting about them is that in one of them, probably this one, which is the bigger one, there are two Bludgeon Brothers figures. And they've sent them in the box this big. You know. Might be a bit of an overreaction. But I'm assuming it's this one, because this one came first. Uh, which was a day, like the day after the other one was dispatched. So quite unlikely that this is that. Plus, when I threw that box over there, made quite a lot of racket. And that is actually a bundle of stuff. Ah, how would you get into this thing? So, yeah, I'm thinking... A bit of an overreaction. I mean, the Bludgeon Brothers are pretty big, but a bit of an overreaction, isn't it? Still just two action figures at the end of the day. I'm gonna assume they didn't have many boxes to hand that day. Yeah, you've got no fear of going missing, though, if it's in a box this oversized. Okay, so after some effort, I've got in there. I don't think I've ever seen tape quite as resistant to being cut. Um, but as we can see inside, we've got a load of padding. And uh, here... Don't tell me each of these bags has one figure in it. Don't tell me. No, come on. This guy really, really gone in on the packaging, hasn't he? I mean, this would have done. Come on, man. This would have done for both of them? Man. Come on. Oh, okay, right. Now I've got to cut into this. <laughs> man didn't want me to open these figures, did he? I hope the figures are in good condition. The packaging's in good condition. Okay. Luckily, this isn't profoundly wrapped up in tape, so I don't need to worry about that. This is Rowan. And what I like about these is that um, I wanted to get an elite Luke Harper anyway. I wanted to get an elite Eric Rowan to replace the one I had that broke. Without having to like either spend too much on it, but I also wanted the Bludgeon Brothers figures in general. So there he is uh, for a later storyline. So getting them three birds, one stone replaces Rowan, gets them sorted, gets Luke Harper. Uh, there's the hood, very interesting actually. That there's his head. What's worrying is that this arm is quite loose, but I'm wondering, I'm thinking it probably, it, oh gosh. Actually, you can see his torso going there as well. Oh dear, this is not good. I think these were about £23 in the end. I was hoping that it was just the weight of the hammer that was holding his arm down. but uh... Okay, yeah, his arm's a lot better without the hammer. It's a lot better, but the torso is still going. So that's still cause for concern as well. Should we just pop this jacket off him for a... A little minute let's have a quick look at that as well there's a bludgeon brothers jacket very nice very nice detail on these things very nice figures these we've got the bludgeon brothers belt around his waist there uh we'll just get that off just to uh check this torso joint properly uh we've got the uh the kind of less hard plastic on the legs um so hopefully it won't break off as easily as my other one did although now i'm saying that i was thinking these were closer to like a regular elite legs than the uh the the eric rowan in the in the like suit but actually that is literally as far as i can move his leg that is as far as it goes that is as far as it goes that's like a jack's classic superstar large superstar leg articulation that's a that's awful that's terrible that's yeah Zig's legs are actually closer to a regular Eric Rowan Elite than to like a regular Elite, but it is what it is. The torso is not great. Like that'll hold its shape if you pause it, but it it could be a lot better. That arm seems fine. It's the fact that the torso goes whenever you raise the arm. That's what's going to be the issue because you're going to be posing this guy and you're going to be oh yeah, I'm just going to raise the arm here and the torso's going back and all of a sudden he's posing like this. You know, like that's going to be the issue there. You have to really pay attention to, to what's going on there. Little bit disappointed with that. Could have been in much better condition. Is what it is. Let's carry on. Luke Harper. Again, this would have done for the whole thing. 
hopefully the harper's in a bit better condition if not maybe we could sell them on if we just bundle two of them on buy it now as i say they were only 23 pound and the uh the harper goes for quite a bit on his own at the moment now i really believe in in price gouging because of a man's death but it you know, it is what it is. This, did he have that? No, he's just, he's got two sleeveless, he's got double sleeveless, and uh, <clears throat> Harper's got one sleeve, and that probably helps to support that arm while he's holding a hammer. We're going to take that off you anyway, bud. Also got the hood that uh, Rowan didn't have. I suppose Rowan has the sheet mask instead of the hood, I guess. So we're going to try and get him out. Again, jacket's more or less the same, apart from the hood and the sleeve obviously i love this harper head scan i think this is so good you know kind of looks like if it had a smaller beard bone saw mcgraw again there's the leg articulation that's it's probably the poorest luke harper articulation you can get um the leg can go back that far that's so like you can put him resting on this and that's the best you're getting out of a super kick from him. Uh oh. Whiff. I just missed that. I just missed that. <laughs> oh dude, you're not even close. Hopefully these legs are gonna hold up. Again, I was kind of expecting Luke's legs to be different to Rowan's. I was kind of expecting these to just be regular elite legs. Guess not. But that torso ain't moving. It's a little bit loose once you get it moving, but like, you know, it's not too bad. Um, there's Luke Harper with his Jeff Hardy sleeve on. I love this head, man. It's it's so good. You can't really see it too close, but... Yeah, okay. All right, so a bit of a mixed bag there. Kind of glad to have them. Kind of disappointed with the condition they're in. Can't really be helped, I suppose. This, this is pure stuff to sell on i've been getting a little bit more serious about my ebay again recently uh, i've kind of been toying with the idea of actually trying to make my ebay shop like a full-time thing because i'm just sick of applying for jobs and uh, you know having a having a work in ebay shop would do for me It'd give me time to work out what i wanted to do as a, as a career still got money coming in still keeping busy but yeah okay so they've repackaged this in a package from sweetsy and the brochure from them is still in there Impressive. Okay. So this is sour stuff. It's basically to sell on, but if there's anything cool, I'll keep it. I don't even really know what it was. Poor photos on a bundle, but Star Wars, so I know it was worth getting. So these are like miniature helmets. No interest in these for me. They are quite cool, but they're going to take up far too much space. Uh, you know, I rant on all the time about how little space I have in my room, so they're not staying. I've got the Royal Guard one. We've got the First Order Stormtrooper one. Probably see what these are worth. Probably sell them individually if they're worth a fair bit. If they're not really, I'll probably sell them as a bundle. I've got Vader there, of course. There's me. Oh, look, there's me and Vader's helmet. There I am. What? All right. And 3PO. Cool, cool, cool. Um, What else we got? We've got um, this kind of Stormtrooper statue. Uh, What does that say? Decora kind of statue. we got got... Uh, this guy, if, you, uh, if anybody's watching and knows, like, can, can help me with the names of Phantom Menace characters that would come in clutch, because I don't know the name of this guy either. Uh, we do have some bases here, actually, so they might have some names on them, maybe? Let's see, nope, nope, nope. But we've got, uh, we've got uh, four, five, five, five bases there. So, not bad. They increase the value of the figure or they're better off selling individually? I don't know. We got uh, Duckman. Uh, we got this guy. At least I recognise this one. Uh, I recognise this one, but I still don't know who it is. Oh, this is actually quite nice. It's a pod racer. Just a little mini pod racer. That's actually quite nice. I'm a sucker for like clear coloured plastic. I really am. The Bulbas. Again, clear plastic. Gorgeous. We got this guy. Which I did actually get before from the uh, that bundle before where Watto didn't have any wings. Can't remember his name off the top of my head. Still amazed this guy ever has his goggles with him because of how like loose they are. But two, two, two of him and uh, two, two sets of goggles. And then we appear to have some. Oh, there's a gun there. 
whose gun is that who knows uh we've got some flags don't know what they're from are they just pod race flags i don't know i don't know i actually have less knowledge on this stuff than i even would have expected but as i say that whole thing is more or less just to sell on and the last thing we've got here is just a little tiny one it's a pokemon card and i've been wanting this for a while it's just such a nice pokemon card it's got two code cards in this actually wonder if they're being used probably almost certainly you know it'd be a nice bonus to get two code cards i don't play pokemon online but it'd be a nice bonus if they were just it's a good idea to, to pad it out if you don't have any cardboard using used codes but yeah uh, no sleeve or anything, lovely. Um, this is a shiny Cramorant V, which you can't see because my ring light's too bright on it. Let's just turn this off for the time being. No, off. There you go, get a bit of a view of that. I'm a real sucker for colourless Pokemon for some reason, and I really like the fact that, uh, you know, the shiny is orange. It looks really nice. The fact it's really cheap was the main reason why I bought it. Really, uh, this was one pound eighty-five on bid in the end. Just kept putting the bids on when they got listed and everything. Really looks like the main chicken from Chicken Run, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't want to be a pie. Okay, well that was today's mail opening. So thank you for watching and goodbye. This guy.